The military rulers of Egypt have reacted brutally to calls for them to step down. Baton-wielding troops have cleared Cairo's Tahrir Square of protesters. The military storming the area very close to Parliament and the cabinet offices beating demonstrators there. And then in Tahrir Square itself burning their tents to clear the area. TV crews also targeted. Al Jazeera's crew was among them. Let's go to Shireen Tadros, who is in Cairo. Um, I'll let you start, Shireen, wherever you think is most appropriate, but it has been a, a pretty nasty day. Very nasty and such ugly scenes that we've witnessed for ourselves here in downtown Cairo and just behind me. Right now, the situation is a lot calmer than it was an hour ago. Those protesters that had um, left the main square after the storming by the military are now dispersing and they're not trying anymore, it seems, to get into the square. It seems that they're just going back home, uh, essentially to regroup, as they put it. So now we have a situation where the military police and indeed the military soldiers are are insecure, securing Tahrir Square themselves. They're also on the periphery. They're trying to make sure that no one uh, wants to, who wants to get back in gets back in. That seems to be their, their main objective right now, to get people out and to make sure that the whole area does not become reoccupied, as they put it. But as you said there, uh, real violence that we've seen against the protesters, unarmed protesters being beaten by the, uh, by the military police and indeed the soldiers, and also against the media too. Our own crew who were uh, in, in a life position just above Tahrir Square uh, were raided. A group of uh, military officers went inside the apartment where they were um, staying and they essentially threw all the kit, the equipment, the lights out of the window and also our, our producer and our correspondent telling us harrowing stories of uh, a woman who essentially was downstairs, a cleaner, uh, who was told uh, to give up the, the floors, the levels where our crew was. Uh, and she didn't want to do that. She didn't want to tell the soldiers where our crew were exactly. And so that she was beaten, uh, beaten pretty severely by the army. So really terrible tales. And they're circulating, of course, on the Internet. Uh, a very difficult scene here. Well, Shireen, I'll be back with you in just a second. Uh, we heard earlier from the Prime Minister, Kamal Al-Ganzouri. He doesn't like what he's seen on the streets of the capital at all. Egypt today is in front of you and you have to protect Egypt. What we're having today is not a revolution, it's an attack against the revolution. I told the youth that I have met more than 350 of you on 11 days and uh, 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 they are youth from this country. Uh, I've met them and I've told them this is a government to rescue the revolution of the uh, 25th of January. So Mr. Ganzori there suggesting that the demonstrators were out to destroy the revolution, if not intentionally, then that would be the end result, he claimed. But what about the views of Mustafa Kamal al-Sayed? Important man, he's with the National Advisory Council, a civilian body. Uh, it talks to the Supreme Council for the Allied Forces. Those are the military rulers, and this is what he had to say. Well, I think um, uh, those uh, people were uh, sitting in, in front of the Prime Minister's uh, office uh, are, uh, have legitimate concerns uh, uh, that um, they do not approve of the choice of the Prime Minister himself. Um, they uh, do not think that the goals of the revolution are making any problems under the rule of the uh, uh, Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. So I think they have legitimate uh, concerns. I, the only disagreement I have with them is that uh, they uh, should have limited their protest uh, to, uh, you know, uh, expressing their views without, you know, hindering the Prime Minister from going to his um, uh, office. So I accept the right to... So he says legitimate concerns. Let's go back to Shireen Tadros in Cairo. Presumably that is, is what you found when you were talking to the protesters. They don't believe they're trying to derail the revolution. What exactly then is it that they want? 
they're trying to finish the revolution. What they believe is derailing the revolution is military rule and the actions that are being taken by the military that are essentially taking the country backwards, back to a time when there was an authoritarian state here, when uh, bloggers were being arrested and when there was no freedom of the media. And that is really what the protests here are all about. What we find, David, is that there is bubbling tension. And on the surface, sometimes this country seems very calm. Just a few days ago, we were talking on air about the elections taking place amidst a lot of calm and a very good atmosphere and then days later we see uh, you know eight people killed on the streets of Cairo so below the surface of calm is always this bubbling tension with military rule uh, and against specifically the actions of the police and indeed increasingly the actions of the military and the military police and what happens is all it takes is a tiny little trigger any whatever that trigger may be and it bubbles to the surface so this is a transition that is very much constant under threat. Meanwhile, the authorities continue to try and pin the blame on a certain section of the population they say are trying to derail the transition, whereas what we're finding is that more and more people are becoming, uh, are, are feeling that the military rule is, is not legitimate here and indeed want a more stable kind of rule uh, in the form of uh, perhaps even a transitional government that comes from Tahrir, a stronger government than the one that has been put in place by the unelected military rulers here. Thanks for that update, Shireen Tadros in Cairo.